Club Penguin. Remember it? Everyone in my generation just got smacked with nostalgia because this game was our childhood. I mean, you could go surfing as a penguin, do karate as a penguin, commit tax fraud as a cute little penguin. But the best thing about Club Penguin is that you had your very own igloo house. You could decorate it, fill it with furniture, and even have friends over. But an igloo house is just something silly from a kid's game. Utter nonsense. Just a big goof. There's no way you could actually build a functional house out of snow that has all the amenities of a real life. Oh, that's the concept of this entire video? Okay. I'm out here on a frozen lake in Wyoming. And over the next few days, I'm gonna be constructing a real life igloo house, complete with a fireplace, TV, furniture. And since the Super Bowl's this weekend, I'm gonna be throwing a Super Bowl party right here at the igloo. I mean, it's not here quite yet, but we're gonna build one. First, I need to go down to the snow bank and take out a mortgage for it. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, this looks like as good of a place as any. And since I already have a video making a regular round igloo, I'm gonna change it up a little bit and make this one a square. That way, if you get too cold, you can just go stand in the corner. It's 90 degrees there. In terms of size, I'm thinking we should make this thing two Davids long by a David and a half wide. Perfect. And given that size, this would take about 200 blocks. And to build the blocks, I got these storage bins that'll work as molds for the snow. I fill the bins with snow, flip them over onto the ground, and it makes a beautiful snow brick just like a sandcastle. Let these babies harden overnight, and you're sitting pretty. I say while sitting in the ugliest way possible. One down, 199 to go. Let's get this bread. And you better believe I was making that bread so fast, you might as well call me the Pillsbury Snow Boy. One brick at a time, my army of igloo blocks was starting to look bigger than a Utah family Union. And you probably can't tell from these time lapses, but I put two days of work into this. That's an entire week, not including weekdays. Lucky for you guys, I packed it all into this illustrative montage that ends now. I gotta be real with you guys, building all those blocks was so much work. For the rest of this build, I'm gonna need some help, so I'm gonna show you guys a little trick on how to build a friend out of snow. All right, let's see who we get. This is my buddy Isaac, and not only is he Casey Dutton's biological twin, but he helped me build my last igloo, so out of Wyoming's 11 other residents, he's the most qualified assistant. So now we're just gonna go down this whole line of bricks, kind of pop them up with the shovel like this, put a couple of them on the sled, carry them down to the lake. And you might be wondering why we're building all the bricks up in the parking lot and not down here on the lake next to the igloo. It's because the snow down here on the lake is drier than a Popeye's biscuit. My goodness. Then one sled trip at a time, we started transporting our bricks down to the lake to build with. Man, I'm hot, dude. Maybe it's because you're dressed like freaking Paul Bunyan. Dude, you look like an LA surfer bro went to Canada. So Isaac's still up in the parking lot, hard at work moving blocks. He's blocked well and tries to cut through the middle. And while he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and build the first layer of the igloo. And this is by far the most important layer since it sets the base for the others, so I put some effort into it. What did the pirate say when he turned 80 years old? I matey! <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go over this layer with a machete and just make sure it's nice and perfectly straight because like I said, everything else is gonna be based on this one, so it's just gotta be perfect. As we made more and more progress, we had to keep bringing bricks down to the igloo to build with, and after the biggest YouTuber boxing match of the decade... Let me have it, boy! Stick them up! No, you stick them up! We started cranking away at the second layer. I'm not sure how we haven't messed this up yet, but it's looking good. So in some areas, we need a brick that isn't as big as a full one just to fill a gap, and that's what I'm doing right here. We'll just use a machete to cut off part of a brick, and voila! <laughs> voila! <laughs> This is gonna be a minute. You, you got a dad joke for us yet? Yeah, of course. Why is there a pop tart, but not a mom tart? Because the pastry arc eats. <laughs> uh. Okay, you guys know the drill by now. We made the third layer, we made the fourth layer, and just like that, the walls were complete, even if four layers was a little short for us. We were gonna do five so we could stand up in there, but you know what, a lot of bricks fell apart and bada bing, bada boom, we don't got as many. And then I cut out an entrance hole so we could actually get inside this thing. So because this isn't a traditional dome igloo that holds itself together, we're gonna have to do something a little bit different with the roof. So for the roof, we're using some two by fours. And I know what you're thinking. David, you're a little stinker who's committing an act of taunt foolery and I plead guilty to both of those charges but my out here building something cool while you're sitting in bed with an open bag of Cheetos shoot probably so for the roof we're not putting entire blocks on because we don't want it to be too heavy and also we might not have enough blocks to do that so instead I'm gonna be cutting the blocks in half this way and then we'll use the halves to make up the roof
As we lined the roof with these snow bricks, it started taking shape as the ultimate man cave that would be perfect for a Super Bowl party. We were gonna throw a housewarming party instead, but the problem with that is then we wouldn't have a house anymore. This is the last block. The very last brick, baby, let's go. Yeah, dude. Uh, chest bump. <laughs> In preparation for the big game, we gotta warm up a little bit. Let's go. Wait. Wait. Oh. 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 Touchdown! Very last thing we need to do on the exterior is build an entrance tunnel. This just makes it look so much cooler and it also helps keep the wind out. Whoa, this is trippy, dude. We're just chilling. After we're done with this YouTube video, some lucky Yeti is gonna come along and be very happy about his new home. All right, so now that we're done with the exterior, the next move is to design the interior. Get ready for the big game. Who do you got tonight? I got uh, the Kansas City Chiefs. I got the Phoenix Coyotes. That's not the NFL. It's hockey. What are we even talking about? Sports. The first step is to make a couch that's big enough for both of our big old booties. This isn't a sofa, this is a snowfa. And no house is complete without a table. So first we're just gonna put one of these blocks on each side and this is actually a piece of ice I froze in a sled overnight in negative 10 degree weather and it makes a nice little top for the table. That's actually really perfect. <laughs> Dude, that's so sick, we have an ice table. Can't exactly watch a Super Bowl without a TV. <laughs> Dude, I bought a flat screen TV just for this video. That's, a, that's, a, that's commitment right there. I didn't even own one before. And I brought a portable battery to power it. So as long as we're out here in the cold doing this igloo stuff, we thought it'd be fitting to play some video clips from somewhere cold. So this is a little montage of beautiful scenes my buddy Ryan Shirley put together from the Nordics. Oh dude, oh. this is perfect. I even brought some iced popcorn. <laughs> So this right here is my buddy Mark. He's been nagging his mom for the last three days to come visit my igloo. So, you stoked you're finally here? Yeah, I think it's cool. What are your first impressions, Mark? I like it. This is so cool. It's a cube made out of cube. Yeah, it is. I've never seen anything like this, but this. So what's your favorite part of the igloo? The TV. Yeah. So throughout this video, we've been telling our best dad jokes. Do, do you have any good jokes? Why did the ghost go to the bar? to get all the booze. Oh! <laughs> then it was time to install the stove. You're putting a stove in here? So the next thing we're putting in the back of an igloo is a wood-burning stove. And what's gonna happen with this stove is we're just gonna take all these pieces and put them on here and build it up so it'll go just up and right. Oh, look at that. That looks good, dude. That's such a perfect little tiny stove. Mark, what's your favorite dance move? The worm. Can we see you do it? Dude, Mark's going Woo! to town. That's awesome. Next, I installed a rare antique Moroccan rug. Just joking, it's from Walmart. And I put a couple throw pillows on the snowfa to make it feel nice and cozy. And to put above the entryway, YouTube actually sent me a nice little decoration. That is 100,000 of you silly geese who decide to show up and watch my stupid videos. That's so crazy to me. How are there that many people with this bad of a sense of humor? Thank you so much to every one of you who got us here. And this is just the beginning. I have so many more crazy video ideas planned out just like this one. So be sure to hit that subscribe button if you wanna come along for the journey. You know me, we gotta have our fairy lights to make the inside an absolute vibe. And for the outside, I have these patio lights that every suburban dad puts on their deck. Welcome to the igloo, y'all. This was a crazy few days, but we finally pulled it off. Couldn't have done it without you, man. Cheers. Cheers. Our gummy kebabs. I'm so excited, dude. <laughs> finally, the Super Bowl Sunday, baby. Wyoming's gonna go all the way this year. We're watching the Super Bowl. Yeah. All right, kickoff time, baby. And I definitely get a copyright strike if I actually played any Super Bowl footage. So instead, I'll just cut back and forth to some royalty-free football stock footage. Basically the same thing. This is it right here. It all comes down to this. This is it right here. Oh! No! Yeah! Unreal. <laughs> yeah! Crazy game, dude. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna remember that <sighs> one for, for a real. long time. Uh.